Hello guys, good morning. Um, I will be honest with you guys, I woke up a little bit late today. We usually like to start school um, by nine o'clock. We usually wake up pretty early and do breakfast and the whole morning routine and morning chores and everything. Um, but having a newborn has definitely thrown a monkey wrench into my ability to wake up super early. Um, Benji was up last night from like three to five basically. I mean, he wakes up every two hours to eat, but he was also just awake from three to five and a little bit, not really fussy, but just kind of like unsettled, you know, hard to get to just settle down and sleep. So of course I was up and unable to sleep. And I'm the kind of person that once I'm like up in the middle of the night for a certain amount of time, it's really, really hard for me to go back to sleep after that. So anyways, all that to say, I'm really tired this morning, but we are just getting things rolling around here. Um, we've just got to get some schoolwork stuff done. Um, I'm changing up the kids' schedules for the year for like exactly what they're doing on a daily basis. I'm going to make some changes to that. Um, so got to do that. Kennedy and Shelby have some tests they have to take today. Um, woo -hoo, right? Yahoo! <laughs> um, and we are just kind of like, Ciara and I sat down yesterday and spent like two hours going through and making um, all of our goals for the kids this year. We hadn't done that yet. So today we are having some like family meetings and we are go, we sit down with each of the children and go over their goals for the year, both academically and just like character wise and things like that, that or, or maybe just like things we want them to work on. Maybe that year for a kid it's tying their shoes or something like that. Um, so we sat down yesterday and spent a few hours going through and making some new rhythms and routines for our home as well as making all the kids goals it got loud in here really fast making all the kids um, goals and stuff for this year so that's part of what hi that's part of what we are gonna it's part of what we're gonna do today is sit down and go over each of those with the kids um, yeah so that's kind of what we're getting up to today. Yeah. Millie used to be scared of feathers, but now she's oh, not. Oh, now you like them? Yeah, so this kid, this baby went through a phase where she was terrified of feathers. If she saw a feather, she'd go, ah, feather, 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 and she would like run from feathers. So we put her in feather immersion um, therapy where we basically just immersed her with feathers until she's no longer afraid of them. So now she's no longer afraid of feathers. Afraid of, afraid of feathers. As you can see, she now likes feathers. So and after this two days. Yeah, two days. Yeah. Two days of two days of feather immersion therapy and she's well, good. Benny? Benny Is he awake? Yes. There he Oh my goodness. We got that crazy hair going this morning. Oh boy. Oh, does it big yawn? Gracious me. Benny, Benny, look at him. He says, Oh, Kennedy, it's so loud. Help me. Help me. Get Nanny. Yeah. Get Nanny. Good morning, Rosie. How are you? You ready to get going this morning? Let's do it. Can you do me a favor? What? Miss Sarah said she dropped off a gift for Benji in the uh, mailbox. Can you go get it? Okay. How cute. Look, my friend dropped off its a little dinosaur towel. And this one has the little dinosaur head. So cute, Benji, what do you think? He's like, oh boy. And a book, a dinosaur book, the dinosaur dance. Oh, hey, I love Sandra Boynton books. I love them, the dinosaurs. Yeah, the barnyard dance. Stomp your feet, clap your hands. Everybody does a barnyard dance.
Here, having a couple bowls of cereal, some Cheerios. Oh, except we're, uh oh, we're spilling it. All right, show us how big girl you are. Take a, show me how you take a bite. Oh, yeah, oh, man down. <laughs> oh, nice job, Mills. Okay, while everyone is distracted and busy, I wanted to take a quick minute to tell you guys about today's video sponsor. Today's vlog is sponsored by Experian. They have a new product called Experian Boost. I think it's really amazing and it's totally free. Experian Boost allows you to boost your credit scores instantly by doing things that you are already doing, like paying your utility bills, your water, your cell phone. So yeah, previously you never got any credit or saw any boost in your credit scores um, by paying those bills and now you can. Obviously we all know having a higher credit score can help you get um, preferred credit options, help you establish your credit, get better rates on things. And it used to take months of doing things to see any kind of improvement in your credit scores. But with Experian Boost, it is an instant boost in your credit scores. And most people who boost see an increase of at least 10 points. The best part is that it's totally free. So we're inviting you guys to join us in the Boost America movement. I will have everything linked down below in the description box for you guys. But Experian Boost can help you potentially establish or increase your access to credit. It's safe, it's secure, it's 100% free. There's no credit card required. Boost your FICO score instantly for free. And Boost is only available at experian.com slash thisgatherednest. Or you can click on the link below in the description box. Y'all know I love sharing things with you that are helpful, I believe will help you. Um, and also I love it, love it, love it when it's free. That makes it even better. So I will have everything linked down below in the description box. Y'all can go check that out. Again, a huge thank you to Experian for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Right, so we just wrapped up our goal setting with the kids for the year. It went pretty well. Um, like I said, we usually do just like academic goals, but this year we also decided to incorporate just some like personal development and character type stuff. And um, I think it went over pretty well with everybody. They all, hold on, this is dirty. They all kind of, you know, are self-aware enough to know that there's certain things that they need to work on. So nobody was too like offended by their <laughs> um, things. Hold on one. Anyways, so now I've got Kennedy set up at my computer upstairs in my room, um, doing some testing that she needs to do. And then I'm trying to decide if I want to set Shelby up on a, just a separate laptop somewhere else or stagger them. Um, I don't know, I'll decide that in a minute. But these twinnies need to get dressed. They're still in their pajamas. Baby Benji is eating ah. yet again. He had a massive yeah, blowout he, on me this morning. You got a little poop on your hand, didn't you? It was more than a little. Yeah, it was all over my, the top of this hand, on my jeans and on my shirt. Uh, How many times would you say he's peed or pooped on us? I, more than any of our other kids ever. Combined. Yeah. It's probably over a dozen already. Between you and I together, I mean, it's, yeah. it's crazy. He pees on us a lot. He gets us a lot. The poop, that's a new one. I haven't been pooped on. That's mm -hmm. you. That was Sorry. I mean, you just had a blowout. Yeah, so. stuck your hand down there. Okay, so next on the agenda is to get this baby off the countertop. Excuse me. Excuse me. Mommy. What Mommy. Are you, Mommy, what? What do y'all think you're doing? I know, we gotta get her down. No, 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 Miss Chi Chi. Miss Chi Chi. Um, we also have to, tomorrow is Shelby's birthday, so I need to go to the store and get whatever she wants, cupcakes, cake, um, and then we always let our kids pick whatever they want for breakfast, lunch, and dinner that day um, on their birthday. Her actual like birthday present thing that she's doing is um, she wanted to go to Carowinds. So Carowinds is like, it's at, like a giant <clears throat> amusement park, roller coasters, like the whole bit. So we're taking a few friends to Carowinds, but that's not happening on her actual birthday um, because they're no longer open um, during the week. So that'll happen I think this weekend. Um, I've got to confirm dates with my friend, but I need to know what she wants, whether she wants cupcakes, cake, so I can get all that stuff um, set up. And then she chose, I think, ribs for dinner. So anyways, um, Shelbs, what do you want for breakfast for your birthday? Donuts. Donuts? Yes. Okay, what do you want for lunch? Yes. I'm still thinking about lunch. I already know what I want for dinner. What? I want dad to make ribs. Okay, ribs. <laughs> It is. All right, so anyways, I've got to do that stuff and I'm trying to, I want to put a new um, like thing on the side of the fridge here 
that's a little bit, I don't know, like I want all of our different meal plans and stuff um, for the week because we're kind of planning things out a little bit differently now, just trying to keep everything organized. Everybody's in my kitchen right now. It's 12.15, it's time to make lunch. Um, guys. All right, next on the agenda, I need to get this room cleaned up. It tends to be our catch-all for stuff, and I need to get it all cleaned up because um, our new baby grand piano is being delivered tomorrow. It's kind of a bittersweet thing. Um, it's my grandmother's piano. It's been her piano for since I was a small child, um, probably even longer than that. She is like a concert pianist. She's an amazing pianist, and um, she recently had to move out of her home into a nursing care facility and actually just this week they moved her to um, like a hospice facility so um, it was really important to her that her piano be passed down to someone in her family she really didn't want it sold she was really hoping that one of her grandchildren myself my sister one of my cousins would learn to play the piano and none of us ever did and so I just promised that like I would take her piano and set it up and one of my children would learn to play and Noah has shown the most interest. Um, I think I am going to have the other kids take lessons because I just want everybody to learn. I wish that I knew how to read music and I think it's such an amazing skill to have so I'm probably going to have everybody take some basic piano lessons um, but Noah's the one who really has the most interest in it so we're working on finding a teacher that can come here to the house and teach the kids here at the house um, but this room is going to become kind of like the reading and music room. So we're gonna have the piano. Um, we're just gonna have to kind of see where it fits basically. And then we'll have all of our books. I need to reorganize this. That's my record player. And I'm gonna probably move that over here because I think this thing is gonna have to leave. I just don't think we're gonna have enough room. So right now I just need to get it all cleaned out and everything kind of pushed to the side so we can see I mean, it's a baby grand piano. It's not a full grand, but it's a baby grand. Um, and so I'm hoping that it will fit in this section over here so I can still keep some of this other stuff in here. Um, I also, um, this my grandma used to have um, tigers all over her house. She just loved tigers. And so she had tiger prints and stuffed animals, all kinds of stuff. So when everyone was cleaning out her house and going through things, um, I got this tiger print it makes me think of her and I love it so I hung it here and it will kind of go above the piano so this is my little nod to my grandmother corner in my house and I love it so I got to get all this cleaned up and ready for the piano it before it's gone One last summer before it's fall Tune your strings and play your cards Alright You ready buddy? You ready? He really doesn't love the car but that's okay. I got my coffee. Everyone else is loaded up. I just had to quickly try to feed him a little bit and burp him. The car is not his favorite place, uh, but we're just running a few errands. We've got to go get, um, what are we going to get again? Get stuff for Shelby's birthday, birthday stuff. stuff. We're going to get some and I need to get some roasting pants for ribs. Okay. So that's what we're after. And we thought it would be a good opportunity. We'll let the twins sleep in the car a little bit. Um, I know I hear you, Stella. You go run some errands, buddy? He's like, not really. Where are you going? You guys all buckled back there? Get buckled, okay? Okay. Baby. Baby! So I got what I needed in order to smoke some ribs on the Blackstone. Before we vlogging tomorrow on our birthday? 
Mom is, in, is irritable right now because Benny is not having a good car ride. So if you notice, we've got fingernail biting, agitated, and all the babies are waking up. All right, we're having dinner. We're getting everybody set up for dinner tonight. We're having, it's called like pizza pasta. Pepperoni pizza pasta. Yeah, like pepperoni pizza pasta. So it's a pasta recipe, but it has um, like all the flavors and Italian flavors of like a pepperoni pizza. Let's give them a little glance there. So you've got olives and little tiny pepperonis and onions and green peppers and Parmesan cheese. What kind of cheese is it? Parmesan Tomatoes, cheese? Tomatoes, mozzarella, Parmesan salt, pepper, and one cup Italian dressing. Yeah. So we're trying to, we're kind of trying out a new meal plan. And one of the things is, this isn't technically meatless, obviously, because it has pepperoni. Um, but we are going to try to do a vegetarian or meatless meal one night a week as well. Um, so obviously with the family our size, we spend a lot of money on meat when we eat meat every night. So everyone is eating. I'm feeding little Benji man here. Um, I did get him an appointment at the doctor. So I will keep you guys posted as to how that goes. I've gotten a lot of messages from you guys with kind of what you think might be going on based on stuff that's happened with your kiddos. So um, yeah, I'm anxious to see her and see what's kind of going on with him. I'll keep you all posted on that. Got the old, uh, that. the old Shelby Marie's birthday. Yep, tomorrow. tomorrow Shelby's birthday. So hey, got a lot going on around here. And we'll, and we'll be tickling the ivories tomorrow. No? Okay. Right. Tickling the ivories. All right. <laughs> we'll see you guys soon. Got it? I can't say bye because my hands are I'll say bye. About to leave, already packing Come with me, I'm not really asking